Today we're unboxing the Atari 2600 Tiny Arcade from our friends at Super Impulse. It is the cutest thing ever. It's the world's smallest, fully functional tabletop arcade game. It comes with 10 games and we can't wait to play. Abby, in the 80s, did you own an Atari? I did. I had the Atari system, uh, but my parents kept it in their bedroom because that's where the TV was. So I had to go in there to play it. So I didn't get to play it like any time, just for special. So your dad had an Atari <laughs> yeah. that, that, that you got to play, truth be told. <laughs> that's about right. Um, so we had several games. My favorite one was probably Frogger. I totally loved that game. We had Donkey Kong. We had uh, Centipede was one of the games we had. How about you? Did you have an Atari? I did not, but my best friend Eddie Johansson did, so I spent a lot of time over at his <laughs> house playing games. A couple of my favorites were Defender and Pitfall. Oh yes, Pitfall was fun too. My friend Shannon had that one, and she had Burger Time, which you know I loved. Oh yeah. I, I didn't have that one. <laughs> the Tiny Arcade comes with 10 games. It comes with Centipede, Pong, Missile Command, Breakout, Asteroids, Combat, I used to love combat. It used to come free with the game console, if you remember that. Oh, I didn't have that one. I guess I got the earlier version. Warlords, Millipede, Tempest, and the bonus game, Pac-Man. Pac -Man. I'm probably the most excited about Pac-Man. Now, Pong is kind of funny because that was like a, a much earlier game, so it's funny it comes with that. Um, but I remember Asteroid... I didn't have it on the Atari, but my dentist had Asteroid. He had like a, you know, a full size video game. And in between, like when you're waiting for the dentist or after you're cleaning, when you're waiting, um, they let you play Asteroids. <laughs> Good times. Cool. Yeah. I remember getting so excited because I got to go to the dentist and play Asteroids. That, that was probably the goal. Get <laughs> you excited to go there. All right. So. 10 games. I don't know why it says 9 games plus a bonus. It's 10 games. And the 10th one is Pac-Man. Alright, so this is from our friends at Super Impulse. So if you guys remember, we did a video a while back where we opened those teeny tiny little toys. Super cute. They're like the world's smallest, but they ought to just call them the world's cutest because honestly, they're adorable. So those are the people that made this as well. But this one actually works. I'm curious, I'm curious to see how this works. It has one controller, so we don't know if it's one player or two player, but uh, we'll see. All right, so let's open this guy. Ooh. So cute. Let's get it out of this well-packaged container here. Dang, okay. All right, okay. Oh, it's so cute. Look at that little TV. Okay. It's very retro. Very. It even has like the little antennas like rabbit ears that we yeah. used to have yeah this is before remote controls this is when us as kids in the 80s were the remote control right when your parents would say hey go change the channel <laughs> dad's like go, go change it not at your house you only had one channel that's right never, that, that's the perk of having one channel you never have to change it <laughs> what are you even talking about that's right. <laughs> okay what else we got okay let's get see if we can get the all right, before we move on, we have to talk about the details of the packaging. You've got the authentic wood paneling, and look at the shag rug with the 70s design. That is so perfect. Because even though we were kids in the 80s, our houses were mostly decorated in the 70s. So for those of y'all that thought we had neon everything, not so. Mostly it was orange and brown. You got the nice harvest gold. Totally. This has several cool features. One, if you notice underneath, it actually has legs for the, uh, the TV stand. Okay. And then this is also cool. You can adjust the screen up a bit so you can adjust it to, you know, whatever you know, height you want it so you can take away the glare. Good idea. It's time to turn this thing on. The power button is on the bottom. So here we go. Okay. Press to start. All right. Itty bitty button. And there are game options. So I'm guessing with the joystick, you can adjust the games. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Ooh, it's so tiny. Okay, so what do we want to play, babe? Hmm. Let's play Centipede. Okay. 
All right, here we go. All right, good luck. It's really hard. <laughs> it's so tiny. <laughs> Look at Keith. He's struggling. Oh, dang. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, it's really hard. I need to, like, take my contacts out. Oh, you need your glasses. Your... We need our reading glasses. Oh, it's so hard. All right, Keith, what are your thoughts so far? It's cool, but it's really hard because it's really small. I'm an old dude, and, <laughs> and it's hard to see. Do you need to go take out your contacts? I think I need to take my, take my contacts out because I can see closer up better without my contacts in. Not going to lie. I totally brought my reading glasses down here to play this thing. But other than that, very cool. Is it my turn? Yeah, your turn. Abby, what game are you going to try? I'm going to try Asteroids. Why is that? Because that's what I played at the dentist. <laughs> okay, let's see. let's see if you still have skills. Okay. I can put on my reading glasses so I can see. Oh, did I get the spaceship? Oh, shoot. <laughs> ah, one came right at me. Oh, no. Game over. Game over. First impressions? That was hard. <laughs> um, it wasn't exactly how I remembered it, but it was definitely the same sound effects that I remembered. It's just on a way smaller scale. So super challenging, but it's very cute. All right, now Keith is going to play Pac-Man. Yes. Do you have Pac-Man fever? I do. Can't you tell? <laughs> I got the fever. <laughs> okay. <sighs> All right. Oh, what was that noise? Oh, this is the old Pac-Man, not the arcade version. He doesn't even, like when he goes up, he's still sideways. He, like, he doesn't like actually go down. Oh. This is old school. Yeah, I forgot. This is how it used to be. I've never played this version. It's like the super basic version. Check out the secret passage. Instead of being on the side, it's on the top. Here I go. Oh, weird. Whoa. Yeah, I totally forgot the Atari version was different, way different from the arcade version that came later. Okay, now Keith is playing Pong. But he's playing against the computer because there's only one remote. And it's very slow. Some games are really fast, and some are like... Oh, super man. slow. Breakout is super slow. Pong yeah. is very much like Breakout, but it's just the paddles instead of the little bricks that are breaking. It's just the paddles that hit the ball back and forth. But you know what's really nostalgic for me are the sound effects. So Pong was my first ever video game, and it was way before like the Atari or anything. It was just its own game. But what did you have? So I had the knockoff of Pong. It was called Super Volley X, but it was pretty cool. It had color. So um, it had a couple different games you could play as well. So it wasn't just the standard two sticks and you hit it back and forth. So mm -hmm. if you hadn't already, we do have a video out there about uh, Super Volley X. So be sure and check it out. It's linked below. Yeah, because your Volley X system still works. It still works. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it still works. We opened it and tried it out, and it worked. It was so fun. I mean, I don't know about so fun, but it was fun. It was super fun. <laughs> okay, Keith, what are your thoughts on this product? First of all, I think it's really cool that they could pack 10 games into this little thing here. Yeah. My only upgrade would be is two controllers so you could play against another person. Yeah, Keith and I are competitive. We wish we could play against each other, especially in like Pong. That would be an easy one to do two players instead of playing against the computer. So there's only one controller, so you could just take turns and add up your score, but that's not quite as fun as playing against each other. Yep. Very cool. It'll look awesome on the shelf. Bonus points for cuteness. 
Yeah, very realistic. The <laughs> controller even looks like the one I remember as a kid. Or not it's, the controller, the, the console. Console, yeah. It's super, super cute. Just like everything that Super Impulse makes is always really cute, really accurate. Um, the look is on point. And the games are fun. I mean, they're pretty basic, but then again, they're basically the same as they were. Those games were basic. We're just spoiled now. <laughs> yeah. When, yeah, when you play modern day games and then you play these games, you're like, oh, they're not really that great anymore. They're okay. It's really fun when you, we have a kid from today playing yeah. games that we play. They're like, you guys like this? That's lame. I think the, that's the perfect thing for this is just to show the current kids, the next generation, how much things have changed since ours so they could play the games and try them out for themselves this would be a good way inexpensive way for them to do that yeah. keith where can our friends get one of these if they want one you can pick one of these bad boys up for about twenty dollars at amazon all right or walmart also has them walmart but walmart's going to charge you thirty dollars <laughs> so i would go to amazon if i was you all right so we will put a link for this below and thanks so much for watching we'll see you next time Woo! 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 Woo!